Here is the dichotomous key that we made in part 1 of making a dichotomous key. I will now show you how to turn this into a proper dichotomous key. Firstly, let's just make this a little bit smaller. Our first step is to identify all the choices that we made. I'm highlighting them in yellow. The second step is to number these. Doesn't really matter the order you number them, but I tend to start from the top and move down. We then start by writing down our first decision, decision 1. And then below this we put down the two options, sometimes more than two options, but the options we have from this choice. And then beside each of these responses we write down which step it goes to. So for no it goes to step 2, for yes to step 3. Once we've done this we then go to step 2, does it have eyes? and do exactly the same again, but this time, no, it is a carrot, yes, it is a snake. We simply continue through each step in order until we have finished. So here we have our final dichotomous key. Starting at the top, we should be able to get someone who knows none of these organisms to figure out exactly what it is using simple features. These steps again, make a dichotomous key. Step 2, number each decision. Step 3, write them in order, indicating where each one goes to. This will work very well for these organisms, but as soon as we add other organisms, it has to be rewritten. I guess that's one of the drawbacks.